hello good day it's your boy DJ yourself simple and i'm here to give you some tips regarding this lpg carburetor so before, without wasting much of our time let me go straight to the point this is the 6 kg cylinder so um i noticed that we, we if you have been using it you know that this the generator will jack one when the gas is about to finish so i during one of my usage i also noticed you know this gives me 15 16 hours of usage depending on my load um so i noticed that there was a time i was using it this went off around the 12 hours mark which is not supposed to be so i'm supposed to have 15 16 hours but it went off around 12 hours so i thought probably it has finished i was preparing to go for a refill when i came to carry the cylinder on carrying it i just noticed this thing still has gas inside so i shook it like this i did like this and i you know start the gen believe me it gave me the remaining three three hours 30 minutes so what do i deduce from that i'll tell you henceforth anytime you want to start your gen you know after the first usage i'm not saying maybe once you want to start the gen please just try and shake it like this once you shake it start it up you'll be able to utilize if not the 100 percent gas you'll be able to utilize like 95 percent then you go and refill and i'm sure when you go and refill that five percent will still be there you just stop it off um alternatively someone mentioned in my comment section that you can turn this cylinder upside down that when you do that um it will not jack until the gas finished you know like 100 percent you get exhausted 100 percent you can do that but i don't think i'll be doing that i've not tested it because you will need something to support this cylinder so as not to rest on this regulator that means you have like some metal you turn it upside down i actually don't want to go into that round i don't want to go to that route so what i'll be doing i'll shake the cylinder like this start it up and i'm sure i'll be able to use i've done that like twice and i was able to utilize almost the whole gas so that's that about that uh secondly please ensure you have clips on the two ends here and on the other end of the the carburetor that is here i do not have any on and the reason is you know i'll just tell you i'm a bit lazy to take it apart again and put it another reason why i did not put it is when i was installing you know showing you guys how to do it um i forgot to put it i also noticed that this hose itself has a smaller mouth compared to the carburetor you know inlet so which means when i was putting the hose it took me extra effort so by default this is already you know tight a lot already so it's already tight already and i'm sure there is no leakage i can confirm that so that's why i just left it but if you are about to install your own please do not forget please ensure you put it here and on the other side and that's it and okay lastly please ensure you always check your oil level if you notice in most of my recent videos regarding this lpg carburetor i always mention oil level oil level so someone actually asked a question about it that what is wrong with my oil level and i'm saying this because of that comment when i first started using this lpg carburetor i noticed a drop in my oil level compared to when i was using petrol for example i will service my gen once a month and by the time i'm servicing the gen after a month of usage i use my gen every day after a month usage my oil level is usually above half you know that dipstick is usually above half as at the time i will you know service my gen but after i installed this carburetor i noticed on the first use that no this oil level went down you know drastically 
I kept quiet, you know, I did not say anything. So upon subsequent usage, I've actually confirmed that your oil level drains, you know, it's um, the oil level goes. So I've actually confirmed that your oil level drops faster when you're using carburetor. At least for me, I can confirm that. I don't know if that, you know, pattern is general. But that's why I always mention, please check your oil level. I did not specify on that. I did not go in details then because I was not sure. Now I'm sure your oil level goes, you know, it drops much faster if you are using this gap carburetor. So please ensure you always check it so that we don't have um, a knocked engine. There's no money for that. Thank you very much. Um, so that will be all regarding the extra tips I want to inform us. And also, that will be the end of the videos I will be doing regarding this LPG carburetor, except when I decide to open this up and service it. You know, this I use the two. I use petrol. I use gas. Not that I just got this and be using just the gas. I use the two. So definitely, one at some point in time, I will need to service this. So when I decide to service the whole thing, I might do a video on that so we see until then i'm not going to do any video regarding this anymore if you have any question regarding my videos you are free to ask i have i think i have enough experience to answer all your questions regarding this lpg carburetor so thank you very much if you found this video informative please help your boy like and subscribe thank you very much and have a wonderful day